Good morning. Hello everyone. Welcome to Saturday morning with Dawn Michelle. Uh, it's May and uh, so good to see you all. Um, I hope you enjoy my stage behind me. I uh, cut some fresh lilacs and azaleas for my garden today and uh, this painting above me uh, is something that I made. It's not quite finished but we're speaking about the chakras today and it has like all these nice chakra colors so I thought why not you know how are you guys doing are you um, hanging in there through the isolation the quarantine the homeschooling the lockdown it's been a while might still be a little while um, I know you know it's, it's been sort of like a I felt differently as it's gone on. I, I'm, I'm kind of done. I'm, I'm ready to, to get back to life, um, but it is what it is. Um, yesterday I was feeling kind of down about it, and I ended up reading an article on my newsfeed about people in India in the slums and and what they're dealing with. Like eight people to a room, and it's 100 degrees, and they're not supposed to go outside. And I have to say, um, I mean, uh, you know, my heart goes out to them. But it definitely helped me, you know, it definitely made me grateful and appreciative for what I do have and going, all right, it's not so bad. Maybe I'm bored and locked up and missing my friends and family, but I'm okay. My family's okay. And I hope that you guys are all okay too. So hi, April. If you guys are on, um, feel free to write a comment and say hello. Hello, Suzanne. So nice to see you. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Kelly. Uh, love seeing you guys. And you can hit the little hearts and likes and I'll know that you're there as well from that. So today I thought we would talk about the chakras. If you are an expert in chakras, uh, this is going to be more of a basic um, video, as all my videos are, just to give you something to learn about and something to, to you know, some more information. Good morning, Paul. So. We sell a lot of chakra merchandise in our store. Um, we sell a lot of crystals that are good for working on the chakras, candles, jewelry, you name it. And um, some people, you know, don't know what a chakra is. So I thought I'd come and tell you guys about it today. So the idea is that we have, um, oh, thanks for all the hearts, everyone. So the idea is that we have this energy center that runs in our body. It's kind of like our spine. It runs from the base of our spine to the top of our head and we have seven areas on that spine that are considered chakras or energy centers. Now there, there are other chakras in your body. There are smaller ones that run um, horizontally across your arms. There are ones that are like above outside your body. But for right now today, I'm just going to talk about the main seven ones that most people, you know, speak about when they come into tranquility with them. So the first one is um, the root chakra. Okay, that one's at the base of your spine. Let me just back up. I wanted to say, so chakra means wheel or disc. So it represents these um, spinning areas of energy in our body. And it's not like a new age concept. I think maybe the word chakra is, but this is a system that's been used in India for over 4,000 years. So, you know, there's a lot of knowledge and a body of knowledge that goes with this. Um, and the idea is that you want to keep these uh, energy centers open and clear and um, they can get blocked from childhood, you know, from uh, neglect, um, you know, abuse, uh, insecurity, anything. Um, or they can, you know, they can just get blocked as an adult, you know, maybe you had a bad relationship or heartbreak or, you know, things like this. And if you thought about like a flute, right, and you'd want to use all the, you know, all the holes in the flute to, to play it beautifully. And if you had a couple that were blocked, it wouldn't, you know, you couldn't play it as nice. It, it wouldn't be as good. So we want to keep all these chakras open and moving and energetic so that the goal is to have energy coming from the base up and from the crown down. And when you have this energy moving up and down with no blockages, you're going to be healthy and you're going to be happy. And that's what, you know, that's what I want for all of you. So now let me tell you briefly about the seven chakras. 
So the first one, they always start with the base. They start with the bottom and they go in the top, they count. Everyone has a number, one through seven. So the first one is your root or your base chakra, and it's generally represented by the color of red. Now this chakra, the idea is that it's earthy and it grounds you down to the earth. And if your chakra is working healthy and well, you're gonna feel rooted and grounded. You're gonna feel safe, secure, you're not going to worry about your survival. You know, it's this base structure um, to help you feel secure, okay? And then um, the next one up is going to be the sacral chakra, and that's represented by the color of orange. And now that one's located in your lower abdomen, so that would be um, below your belly button. It also includes, you know, your reproductive organs. So this chakra is about... Um, it's more water-based, it's more emotions and um, passion and sexuality and and it's more of a flowing kind of energy and, um, and if that's working well you're going to have great passion and um, creativity, um, a healthy sex life and, um, and what I mean by that is I mean that it's not, you don't feel uncomfortable about it on one way or the other. Um, I'm going to grab my notes because I always want to grab my notes. And um, if your sacral chakra is in really good shape, you're going to be able to nurture yourself, nurture others, and you're going to have healthy, strong boundaries. Okay, the third chakra is your solar plexus. Now that one's your belly, but it's your high abdomen. It's like below your chest and above your belly button. This I want you to think about like the sun right like this power of the sun but it's your personal sun deep you know inside you and this is your power this is your energy this is your like life force you know kind of lives in your solar plexus so you want that to be nice and clear it gives you self-confidence and personal power and you know um <laughs> um and good self-esteem okay the fourth chakra is your heart chakra, and that's located in your heart area in your chest, and that's represented by the color of green. When that chakra is open and well, you're gonna have self-love, right? We talked about that last week. Self-love is so important. So you'll be able to love yourself, you're gonna be able to love other people, and you're gonna have healthy relationships, all right? The fifth chakra is your throat chakra, and that's located in your throat, your collarbone, that area and it's represented by the color of blue. And that's the ability to communicate well. So it's not only being able to speak, but it's also being able to listen, right? So when your chakras, are, your throat chakra's open, you're able to communicate freely and, um, and speak up for yourself too, okay? And see how speaking up for yourself is also tied to your solar plexus. So these chakras don't really work independently. You know, they all work together. They're a system, just like your spleen works with your, you know, uh, liver. You know, they all, they're independent, but they work together. All right. And, um, okay, next is your third eye. So your third eye is located between your eyebrows. Um, but, of course, deep, you know, deeper inside. All of these chakras are, you know, inside, <laughs> obviously. And um, third eye chakra is represented by the color of, I feel like, no. I, I'm like, did I just talk about this? Um third eye is located between your brows and it's represented by the color indigo. Indigo is um, like a purplish blue. It took me a while to figure out what indigo was. I always had a problem with that. Um, and so if you have strong third eye chakra, you're going to have great intuition, visualization, um, and you might have psychic abilities. I mean, that would come with an open third eye as well, but you don't have to be psychic to have a good open intuition. Um, you might have good memory and good dream, dream recall as well. All right. And the last and final chakra we're going to talk about is the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra, which is located on the top of your head. Um, that's considered your crown kind of, I'm looking at this picture behind me. I kind of feel like that's the crown chakra. And um, that one is sort of your ability to um, connect with the divine, right? To let it all come in and open yourself up and, and connect with the divine energy, 
and be spiritually connected. Hello, Maureen. Good morning. All right. So those are the seven chakras. And the idea is, you know, why do we care? Why do we care about my chakras? So the chakras, uh, I'm going to give you an analogy, which is the wind, right? You can't see the wind, but you can see the branches on the trees moving, right? You know the wind is there. So you can't see your chakras, but the more that you're in tune with them, the more you can help yourself be healthy and well. So if you're in tune with yourself and you understand the chakras, say you, you just have a, like I was saying before, like a really hard time speaking up for yourself. You know, you just can't do it and you just like, oh, forget it. So you know, oh, well, either my throat chakra is blocked up and I'm not able to speak up for myself or my solar plexus is blocked and I don't have the self-confidence to speak up to myself. So once you know that, you can then work on identifying, you know, what caused this and then hopefully you can let it go. So maybe it's something in your childhood or your adulthood or something happened and then once you identify it, you can let it go. So you can open up your chakras and heal your chakras through lots and lots of methods. Um, April just wrote a question, which is what I'm about to say. She said, how do you use crystals to engage your chakras? And the idea is that the crystals are of the earth and they all carry their own energy. And so if you um, get a chakra that has the energy that you need, then it can help. So for example, I always hold a black tourmaline when I do these videos because it helps me feel grounded, right? It helps me like feel like um, I have, um, my higher third chakras are stronger than my lower third chakras. So I like to bring that energy down using black tourmaline. A lot of people, rose quartz, I would say, is the number one most popular stone, especially for using the chakras. Rose quartz opens up your heart. So a lot of people who are looking for love or relationships or healing wounds of relationships, they carry around rose quartz. And you would use those crystals um, during meditation. You could hold them um, or just carry them around with you. And I like to, I like to sleep with my crystals. <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous um but i have a couple i have a, a queen size bed um and so i keep a couple under the pillow that i don't use on the side i don't use and then at night i'll kind of grab what i want and i'll hold it and um i currently use mookite um which is also grounding and um that's how i use crystals so you can also work on your chakras through lots of other methods because it would be really any kind of therapy you can use a um talk therapy like with a life coach or a therapist um you can use sound healing the sound vibrations help open up your chakras hi andy um you could use um my mind is going blank but i have a big list over here i wanted to share with you So yeah, you can just explore your feelings. Oh, of course, you can use yoga because the movement of your body can actually help open up um, energy centers that have become blocked. And of course, you can use meditation and you can use um, Reiki healing, right? Any kind of energy healing, usually we call it Reiki. There are other kinds. And so like Janine or Reiki master, she can work with you. Now, I'm under the belief that even though I call them healers, you really heal yourself, but the healer helps you. They might be able to get you into the mood or the mode that you need, and they'd be able to help manipulate the energy, but you truly do the work. You truly are the one who lets go of something that you might be holding on to. So our beliefs shape our reality in our world. So if you believe something, um, Maybe you believe that like s certain kinds of people are, are bad. Um, that'll shape your world and shape your, your, that belief will shape your world. It's also going to adjust your chakras. Um, so an energy healer can help you identify that and help you let it go. Hi, Paul. Um, <laughs> Paul does the same thing with his crystals. That's adorable. Thank you for letting me know. Um, 
And then of course, you know, like I said, meditation. A lot of our Saturday morning meditation leaders do start with a chakra clearing because um, it's really, really helpful. And most of us don't clear our chakras. I think it's something that you could probably do every single day. Um, I don't know how long chakras stay cleared and balanced um, without you doing something because every day we're being hit with things that can knock us out of balance. Um, and it takes a strong person to stay in balance or someone with a really great self-care ritual who can clear their energy every single day. So um, I was thinking about doing a chakra meditation on this video, but I don't really want to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> um, I'm not really, I don't really consider myself a meditation leader. It's not where my comfort lies. Um, but I did find a really nice, cute one on YouTube. It's 10 minutes. It's very simple and easy. And there's a link um, on this video description that you can, you know, you can follow if you'd like to see one. And um, you can also use power statements like positive affirmations. You know, so for the root chakra, which is something I'm working on, you know, you'd say, you know, I feel safe. The universe provides what I need. I am safe. I am secure. I am protected. And you can say these things. I also, lately, it's been gorgeous out here, and I've been walking around barefoot. That's a great grounding method, you know, to help if you want to work on your root chakra. Um, but there's lots of things. There's lots of resources out there about them. And... Um, April's asking me if you feel other people's energy like you are feeling it yourself, is that your third eye chakra? I can't answer that question because I don't, I don't feel other people's energy. Um, I can sense it, but I don't feel it. So I'm not really sure. Um, but I mean, guarantee that Janine or Jackie who works uh, with me at Tranquility Within could answer that question. So I'll, I'll forward your question to them and see what they say. All right, guys. That's really what I have on that topic. I hope that was helpful. Now you know what a chakra is if you hear that word. And hi, Mom. Hi, Allison. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, oh, uh, thank you, Suzanne. She's saying that she has beautiful crystal jewelry that, for her chakras that she got at Tranquility Within. I really want to thank you guys for your support and your loyalty for Tranquility Within while we're closed. I mean, I had a gift card sale and you guys came out in numbers and bought gift cards, so thank you. Uh, we did very well for Mother's Day. You guys came and bought our gift baskets and I really appreciate that. And uh, we're open every Wednesday for carryout from 11 to 2. You just call ahead with what you want or, you know, let us know what you're looking for. We could help you. We could send you pictures, let you know what we have. A lot of people want to know what um, tarot decks we have, so I send, I send them an email with a list, you know, names and prices. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know, I just want to say thanks again for your support. Thanks for being with us. Keep your chin up. We're all going to get through this, you know. Um, we'll be, <laughs> life will be open and back to normal at some point. And until then, just <sighs> relax the best you can. Love yourself. Love each other. And I'll see you guys next week. Love you all. Bye. Mwah. Be well.